glucomannan, also called konjac root extract because it comes from the konjac plant, is really, really popular in the world of weight loss. I've seen it even compared to weight loss surgery because it can expand in size when exposed to liquid about 50 times its normal size. But what is the actual proof that glucomannan can help people lose weight? And if it does work, how much should you take? Let's look at the proof. Here's a study with a very bold and straight to the point title. 83 overweight men and women are given either a placebo or three grams of glucomannan fiber each day for two months. They measure body fat with the DEXA scan, which is the very best measurement of body fat available, and concluded that in those who use glucomannan as directed, those people saw significantly less body weight, lower body fat, and lower cholesterol levels too. And equally, if not more important, these people did not appear to lose precious lean mass, which I take to mean muscle mass that can often occur with dieting. I will point out that this is the only study that I could locate that appeared to show that glucomannan fiber appeared to help prevent muscle loss with dieting, so I would like to see a couple other studies corroborating this effect. If we go back in time a little further to the 1990s, we see this paper where 25 very overweight people are given either a low calorie diet or that same diet plus four grams a day of glucomannan fiber spread out throughout the day with their three daily meals. These researchers reported that glucomannan fiber helped the low calorie diet work better. In other words, those people who combined eating fewer calories with glucomannan fiber lost more weight than those people who just cut their calories. In this paper from the 1980s, 20 overweight people are given either a placebo or three grams a day of glucomannan each day for eight weeks. More specifically, the people took one gram an hour before each of their three daily meals. And after two months, the people taking glucomannan supplements lost over five pounds. And as a bonus, their cholesterol and their bad LDL cholesterol also decreased as well. In this paper, they're calling glucomannan PGX. Pay attention to that. You may see PGX showing up in different dietary supplements because of studies like this 14-week clinical trial involving 29 overweight men and women. They're given either five grams of konjac fiber with 17 ounces of water just before meals. Since they ate two to three meals a day, the total amount of glucomannan used in this study was between 10 and 15 grams per day. So while they did combine glucomannan fiber with eating fewer calories and exercise in this study, it was reported that those people who combined this soluble fiber with eating fewer calories lost about 13 pounds, just under six kilograms, and their body fat declined by about two and a half percent, and their waist circumference decreased by almost five inches or 12 centimeters. In this review of 14 previous glucomannan and weight loss studies, it was concluded that the glucomannan fiber was able to help people lose about two pounds of weight after several weeks of use. Now, I know what you're thinking. This, all this sounds great, but does all the research show that glucomannan fiber actually works? So in this paper, 47 men and women are assigned to take either a placebo or 1.33 grams of glucomannan with eight ounces of water before each of the three meals, and the study lasted eight weeks. These researchers concluded that the glucomannan soluble fiber was not effective at helping people lose weight or curbing appetite or ironically, not reducing blood sugar or cholesterol levels either. Here's a paper where kids and teenagers were given 3,000 milligrams of glucomannan each day for 12 weeks, and as you can see from the title, it didn't work. And then we have this paper where almost 300 people are given either 8 to 13 grams of wheat bran fiber a day or about 10 grams of glucomannan fiber each day for three weeks. So the good news here is that glucomannan did appear to help lower cholesterol levels and improve markers of diabetes. However, it did not appear to help people lose weight. Here's a summary of the studies I just showed you, and this is not an exhaustive review. I may have missed a few investigations. However, if we just look at these studies, we have three clinical trials which appear to show that glucomannan helps people lose weight and two clinical trials showing that glucomannan does not help people lose weight. I'm inclined to toss out the investigation involving kids and teenagers because kids are not miniature adults and in a real world environment might kids be more susceptible to junk food advertisements. 
I'm also inclined to toss out the last clinical trial you see because it only lasted three weeks, which may not be enough time to see a significant decrease in body weight. So based on the evidence that I was able to uncover, I conclude that there's moderate evidence that glucomannan fiber, when used as directed between say three and four grams a day, may help people lose some weight. So how much weight might you lose with glucomannan fiber? I would say it's gonna vary from person to person, but a conservative estimate is somewhere between two and five pounds after two to three months of use. Your results may vary, but that's my guess if I had to take a guess at it. Now we're not done yet because what about side effects of glucomannan fiber? So across the board, I don't see a lot of really bad negative side effects when people take this supplement. We're talking maybe gastrointestinal distress, sometimes diarrhea, sometimes constipation when you take when you take glucomannan. Generally not too bad. However, when you go looking for glucomannan supplements, you're going to have an option. You can find it in a powder and you can also find it in capsules or tablets. I'm going to suggest that if you're going to look for glucomannan fiber, again, it can also be called konjac root extract. When you go looking for this supplement, I would suggest you go for the powder and not the tablets or capsules, and here's why. Over the years, I have seen a couple of reports of people taking glucomannan tablets and choking from it, because remember, when you swallow the capsules and it comes in contact with liquid, it swells inside. So these individuals essentially didn't drink enough liquid with it and it appeared to swell in their throat. That can be very dangerous. And so while I do think this is a rare side effect of glucomannan supplements, anything that causes choking is going to make it on my no-fly list. So I'm going to opt for the powder. So that's what I would suggest. So if you go looking for glucomannan fiber, either at your local health food store, if you're looking online, you're going to find this is an ingredient in an awful lot of proprietary, expensive dietary supplements. But generally, these supplements will have lower levels of glucomannan than in the studies that I just showed you here. So if you want to save money on this, go and just get glucomannan fiber. It's not expensive at all. You can find this in your local health food store and you can also find it online as well. So save some money, just go for the glucomannan fiber, mix it in some water or your favorite liquid, orange juice, etc., and let's see what happens after a couple months. If you've tried glucomannan fiber, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about all this and until next time, take care out there.